We don't know how to do it like that. I saw Jada do it the other day. Hey guys, Barbara here. We've got Joe and Josh in the kitchen with us today Hello. as we make some panadas. And Josh is trying to show Joe how to open the can of tuna by putting the, the can opener on the top. You know how we do it like around the side? Is it going? Yeah. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. But it's eating up the can. Well, do you want to use the can again? I don't want the, the pieces of the can to go anything. It's not going to come up. Oh, it's popped up. Okay, let me get um, a spoon. You need everything out of it, right? Yes, baby. Can you open that one the way Joshua did just now? Oh, not that savvy. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, guys, I am so excited today because it's April the 1st. April Fools! Yes! Yeah. Why so? And, um... Because it's, like, too big. My book came out. Oh, the bread book you need, K N E A D. It came out on Amazon for, well, they said it came out on the 31st, but it wasn't public till today, the 1st. Okay, it probably came out last night. Oh, here's my trash. You got it? Yeah, it's a little confusing at first. Yeah, I could never get it. It's kinda, I'm kind of dumb. So, Joe and I are making some lunch, and you guys are watching behind the scenes. Oh, well, listen, Josh. Hmm? No, you got it. So. No, you got it. You got it. I think now you're missing it. Well, so what I'm doing here, guys, can you guys see me? Yeah, you guys can see me. I am cutting up some onion. You guys might not be able to see. I hate when they do this to the onion, because then what can I do? Yeah. It's <sighs> people. That's spell happening. Mm-hmm. That's why I have it on a cutting board, you know. <laughs> So guys, I'm so excited the book is out. It's 55 different bread recipes. Um, like three of the recipes I put in there three times because they're by the amounts. So you could do the small batch, the medium batch, and the large batch. The rest of them are all separate recipes. I am so excited to get my book. Jory bought it for me because if I ordered my author's copy, it'll take 10 days. If he buys it like a customer, then it took, um, it's going to take till Monday. Today's Saturday the 1st. Is so it's going to come on the 3rd, Josh. Is there something special with the author's copy? Or? They're like, you're the author. We don't care to send that to you. That's I nice. think the author's copy, I would pay whatever the cost. Uh, I would pay cheaper. Okay, I got you. And then, um, but the thing is they get you on the shipping. Ah. You have to pay the shipping. Mm -hmm. While if you have Prime... And you're ordering it like a customer, you don't pay the um, shipping because Prime covers it, right? Yeah. Have you been doing for paying the shipping, they're still cheaper? Probably eats um, out, right? Well, Tracy says they kind of get you on the shipping, so I think the shipping is bad. Oh. And you can buy up to 999 authors' copy, but why would I want to do that? Exactly. Unless I'm going to go beyond somebody's talk show and I have to give book to um, all the studio audience, then maybe I need to buy 100 or 200, right? And I don't know what the author would pay, I have to go check. So, um, I'm very excited. I'm in that zone now where I want to put out more books, more books, more books on KDP. But I'm going to work behind the scene quietly on the other books. And um, because I don't want to like put myself on a time constraint. And then, like I did with this book, right, Josh? Mm -hmm. I gave myself like three weeks to a month. And uh, it was overwhelming. That's when you guys hardly saw videos. I mean, I, I have all this stuff that I have to do here for YouTube, right? I can't just abandon my video making career which is easier than making a book by the way <laughs> putting out the videos are easier than making a book child let me tell you mm. can i um borrow this pot sweetheart oh it's just me and you can i the, the stove's not on right i just i just want to put the onion and the pepper so this is the tuna and we're using that good albacore and i'm putting some jalapeno and some onion diced up Normally, Belize people will put habanero, but I can't tolerate the heat, so I use what I have. There you go, babe. What does they put in there? I put a little bit of black pepper, and then taste it before you put the salt. Oh, I'm going to put some cilantro, too. Let me get this going. Okay. So normally, Belize empanadas, you eat it with diced up onion, pepper, and cabbage, salt, and vinegar, and water. I hate, absolutely hate having to do that, because I don't eat it. Because the cabbage and the onion gives me a horrible 
power pain from gas but Joe has to have it so I gotta make it that's what you gotta do sometimes in a marriage right you gotta do things you don't want to do because Joe he does a lot of stuff he don't want to do <laughs> so I, I don't like salt and vinegar that's salt and vinegar let me taste it I have a feeling I won't like it I'm just glad it's a small bag so I can finish it Mmm. Yeah. I should have went to Doritos. Oh! How do I spit this out on camera? Oh, there's too many in there too. Oh, throw it on. We get out to Windsor. I want to get one bag. It's such a day. We're going to buy from your own chips. You, you, nobody should ever have to eat that. <laughs> you know what videos I like to watch, guys, on, on Facebook? I think they're reels. Or maybe it's on YouTube as shorts. God, I haven't even put up any real shorts lately. Did you hear that? Any real shorts? <laughs> I like to watch those um, little kids over some part of Africa when they feed them. Little kids are like maybe five years old and they have the big batch of rice. I'm watching because I want to eat the rice to judge how the food looks good. They have some type of soup going, like maybe it's that, that igusu soup or whatever. Fufu, whatever. Oh my God, the food looks good. And they take a plate. They take a, like a plastic plate with a little dip to it and they serve with the plate. They don't even have serving utensils, Joe. Joe, you hear me? Yeah. They didn't have serving utensils. Yeah. And the little baby, they come with their plate, they could barely hold the plate up. But I'm like, don't spill, don't spill. That's your last food, right? Don't spill. They get the food and whatever they put on the plate, they bow down as a thank you. I'm like, oh my God, poor and little babies. It. No, they don't drop it. Poor little babies. Then they go to the, you know, for the meat, for the this, for the that, and they go find a little spot off by themselves. And then they pray the and they start right? eating. I don't know if it's a school or a church, but it's a lot of kids around. Mm. Just like, pobrecito. And we over here crying when we go more than three hours and I have a meal. It's like, I'm hungry. I could die from this hunger. And then poor little kids over there are so grateful for that food. Well, that food looks good, though. They don't get any no, no crap. You know what I mean, Josh? Well, probably eat some way healthier than us. Yeah, that food looks good. I love watching those videos when I'm falling asleep. Then I say a little prayer for them babies. Yeah, pretty soon though, pretty soon with my book sales, I'm claiming I'm going to have enough money to give the charity. What's your charity that you like, guys? Comment below. What's your charity that you like? I like the charity that fixes the uh, cleft palate for people, not just for kids, but especially for kids. Because it's such a minor surgery to fix that problem. And that problem is such a major problem for people who suffer with the cleft palate. You know what I mean? I want to give to that charity, Josh. Then I want to give to anything that pertains to the arts, especially to let children go and take art lessons, art, graphic arts, like painting, whatever. Joshua, um, I think, no, okay, I thought, Win I thought Wednesday wanted to go, but she wants oh, water. Yeah. For me, it's uh, animals, not Peter, though, but animals. I, I saw something about animals the other day. I'm like, would you give to that charity if you had money, Joe? And that was like, no, I would give to charity pertaining to kids first. Nah. I'm like, no, I would give to the animals too because people ill treat animals all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, so, um, yeah, I have my little charities I want to give to, and I want to give for people to take, you know, kids to take piano lesson, guitar lesson, singing lesson, like anything to do with art, music art, 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 what else, sewing art, whatever is considered cooking. as art. Cooking, cooking. Like cooking's that. an art, yeah, for real, for real. That's what I want to do. That's what's on my heart to do. I can't see, I can't stand seeing these big YouTubers. They make so much money, right, Josh? Mm -hmm. And all they do is buy gold chain, gold teeth. Cars. Cars get tattoo in their face. <laughs> Let me show for you know who I'm talking about. I, I know so many people now doing that. Hey, hmm. look. <laughs> you know who. Hmm. Cut up some cabbage. I usually use a cabbage too, but the space here is small. So I'm not using that. You guys are not even seeing what I'm doing. Are you guys seeing what Joe's doing? Um. They're seeing on that camera? Yes. Okay. I want I want to thank Joe publicly. I thanked him privately a little while ago, and he's like, "What did I do though?" And I'm like, "I'm thanking you for helping me with the bread book, because um, he was there for all the breads I was making. Um, he fried the donuts, the beignets. He did everything that I asked him to do, guys. So this is the masa. I'm kind of thawing it out a, a tad. Joe, where you buy this masa from? Northgate Market. Mm -hmm. Is this for a tortilla? Yeah. This is not for a, um, this is not preparada, right? Yeah. 
Oh my God, one time Joe gonna buy masa preparada and I wanted to. What is that? What is that? Preparada means they, they already put stuff in there to prepare it for Mexican tamales. Mm. So it, it's oily and it doesn't Spices make tortillas. No, not spice. It's like grease, lard yeah. and stuff like that. When you're frightened, you break right up. Joshua, you remember the time? Joshua? Yes. Remember the time when I sent you to buy masa and you got in there and buy candy? Yeah. When I, I was little. I was like, what, six? Huh? No, you're not going to the store at six by yourself. You're a big boy. You're probably already 10, okay. 10 or 12. You buy the last money you take it. That's the last money I had that day till Joe got paid again. We was going to make some good food. You can't sit a silver over with candy. Man. Joshua went in there and buy chocolate. <laughs> oh, we have a chocolate story to tell you right now. So Joe bought this big chocolate bar in there. Hey, Joe uh -huh. took a little piece. Did Daddy take it here? He I took some, know. right? I don't know. I think he took a little piece. Wait, yeah, I took a little piece. Uh-huh. So let me see what this is. This is 3.3 3 pounds. We only want to use like a pound of change. All right? We're going to put back up the rest. So anyway, Josh, Joe said Joshua could have some. Joshua had some one day, and then the next day he went and had some more. And I said, did your dad tell you you could eat all this chocolate? And Joshua said, well, I'd rather beg for forgiveness than to ask for permission. And I said, okay, well, your dad hasn't been eating it anyways, and he gets heartburn from the chocolate, so maybe. So I took that. So he blamed me. I took that as the all clear. He took got the heart. Daddy. What? What happened? What happened after that? Huh? Well, according to him, you tell him not to take it. No, I, got I, I we said that part. What happened after that? You went off. Yeah, I'll take he my stuff. He lost it. He already, lost it. I already gave him half of what I got, the whole thing, and then he wanted to take off. Ooh. Ooh. He took it all. He was greedy. Right, Joshito? Joe, is this enough? Yeah. You think this, this batch right here is enough for the two cans of tuna? Mm -hmm. This little bit right here. Like a pound and change. To make what? Two, yeah. two cans of tuna. Do I need more for two cans of tuna? Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. But it's cabbage, dice up onion, and dice up jalapeno. Why? Because I like the taste of jalapeno and it's not so hot that I can't eat it, right? But I'm not eating that onion sauce anyways. I always make a dipping sauce out of mayo, mustard, and relish to eat. So look at my knife. Joshua broke the tip of the knife one night because he was stabbing into frozen hot dogs. He didn't know that we had hot dogs already in the fridge, not just in the freezer. He broke it and didn't say nothing. And then he showed me. Then he said, can daddy fix it? So Joe went out there and made a new point. This is my chopper. Just to chop it a little bit smaller for Joe. I'm not making a whole lot because it's just for Joe. Every time I make a whole lot, I have left over for weeks. No, the rest of that masa that's over there that we're not using, we can use it to make panadas again later on in the week, but we can't keep it too long though. And then also, we can use it to make, oh, over here, we can use it to make tamales, but that's not enough though. So let me grab some flour, hold on. You guys, I went to ride today on the trail. Oh my God, first time back in two months. Oh, even though I was using my little rowing machine from that I just bought from Amazon. By the way, I, I have a video that I'm posting at my influencers page about um, the review of that machine. I love it. I love that machine. But even though I've been using it, I really hadn't been using it as much as I should though. And it's because it's fairly new. Hey, Julie, thank you for these little spoons. And um, also because I've been doing the book, right? This is some powder Ricardo. I get this done at Lewis Meat Market in LA. We go there like once every couple of months to buy what we need. Now, you can make the masa more dry by adding uh, corn flour, not corn meal, but corn flour. But I, I very seldom have that on hand. I have corn meal for like when I make dokuno, but I very seldom have corn flour on hand. So I just use regular flour. Why? Because my uncle girlfriend Miriam told us we could. She's like, don't make nobody tell you you can't. So this is what we do when we make panadas. I'll open up the fish and sometimes I cook the fish. I cut up the onion sauce for Joe. I season up the masa like this, and then we roll them off into balls. And that's when Joe will come and squish, put the fish and fry. We work as a team in here. So today, I wanna make some hot cross buns because I have to make that for a video for you guys. 
And that's in the bread book too, guys. Go pick up the bread book. I'm gonna have to make a commercial about that bread book. And I wanna shout out everyone, all of my diehard people that just ran right away. Mrs. Miss Lucky is the first one to see that it was live. If somebody else saw that it was live and bought first, I wouldn't know because they didn't tell me and Amazon's not gonna tell me. And when it comes to stuff like that to show your money on Amazon, they're always um, like a day behind. So today is April 1st and the book went live like a few hours ago. So whatever people have bought so far, I won't see till tomorrow, like after midnight tonight, I guess. And then I'll tell you how many was sold. I want to sell 30 to 50 books a day. Now you guys don't have to buy 30 to 50 books. You guys just have to spread the word. All right, put it on your wish list so it can become the most wished for thing on Amazon. Share it on your Twitter, your Facebook, whatever, your Pinterest. God, I have a Pinterest. I tried to work Pinterest the other night. Pinterest sucks. It really and truly sucks. I can't work that thing. I get really upset. I, I don't know where to find the boards. I'm pinning things all about the, all about the place. Oh, God. So Jada said, Mommy, stop leoing out and stop making Pinterest stress you. It's not going to work anyway. I have a few followers there. And it's only a few because I'm not faithful to it. Follow me at my Facebook authors page, Barbara McNab, M C N A B, Greenwich, G R I N A G E. Follow me there because that's where you're going to buy the book and that's where you're going to share it with your friends and family. And that's how you're going to know when more books come out because there's more books in the queue. I was doing a cake book last year and I stopped the cake book to do the No More Leftovers book. I still have those three books for sale here at my website, bearpantreshow.com, and I'm not going to be redoing those three books. Joseph. Mm. We're ready. Uh-huh. I'm just peeling off some of these bags because they look sticky and stuff. Yes, guys. You're worse than the dog. Why would you go that way when you had a clear path this way? <laughs> you guys, Joe could have gotten up from his chair and walked straight this way. He went all the way around and had to crawl, crawl across my... Um, Camera uh, tripod legs. That's the way my brain tells me to go. My brain tells me to go that way. You be no hurry to that at all. <laughs> yeah, did I tell you guys I went to go right? How much right? How much miles are right today? Seven miles? Oh god. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. My chest hurt, and I came home and all I wanted to do is sleep. I called that into um, come at work. Yeah. Daddy got up from his chair, went that way, and tried to crawl over the camera. I'm like, why? Why, yeah, Daddy? Yeah, right? I don't crawl over nothing but the dog. So I just cut up the, the white the see through plastic bag from Costco. I'm wearing this for me, but. He have to hear runny nose. I can't deal with that. I didn't even put nothing for him to sneeze or nothing. But then are the best panadas. I don't care who come and tell me. I use shark. I use mackerel. I use this. I use tuna. Well. I keep things very simple. I hmm? probably want to eat some shark. Well, who the hell got time to go buy shark to put in a panadas? True. That would be a gourmet meal, right? Yeah, gourmet panadas. Mm-hmm. So Joshua, me and Joshua was talking a while ago, but Joshua was cussing. So I said, okay, I cuss for the show. But I'd like for you to say what you were saying, because I told him, right about now I'm phoning in these, these, um, these shows, these cooking shows, because when I put too much professionalism in the show, I don't get no views. So what am I going to eat this way? A garden salad. And I'm going to go make my little dipping sauce. Let me get this, because I don't think I have one. Joe, next time we go to Costco, we need to buy um, mayo. Oh, let me show you this, guys. So, because I have trouble with my intestines, and I don't get enough fiber, because there's so much that I can't eat that I get sick, I do this. I put oat flakes, and then put water, leave it overnight, and then I stir it up next day, usually next morning. Stir it up. Little darling. Oh, copyright infringe. Let it settle. 
I learned this when I was pregnant with Josh. I used to have trouble with constipation. And a friend of my aunt told me to do this. And I don't know why I forgot it throughout the years, but I started to do this over a month now. It's thick. I don't want to say it's slimy, but you can feel the, um, the starch. It's too cold for me to drink. I want it. Hmm. And then I add more water to this and set it back in the fridge. And I drink this for like two days. When I see the oats is looking tired, I blend it for the dogs. Because I can't eat the oats. I wish I could eat the oats. So I could drink this again tonight if I want to, but I'll just probably wait till tomorrow morning. You just put it back up again. Put a lid on it, put it to chill, and it's going to help you. All right, guys. So... Which one was the first one? This one the way up? Was that the first one? It's too hot for me to chew still, but see? Nice, beautiful, golden panadas. Joe and me in the kitchen working hard today, making panadas for lunch. You can't slow me down. Baby, I know. I'm just telling them bye. Mm -hmm. Thank you for helping me cook the lunch today. Thank you for helping me with the book. You helped in every aspect. Don't worry. As soon as the money starts to flow in, you will go shopping at Ross. Yeah. <laughs> Ross is his favorite store. <laughs> mm. This is the best.